Hey, Tai here. So welcome to the VRTech channel. So today we received a big, like big update for the Oculus Quest 2. Probably one of the biggest so far, because as you might know, we were kind of forced to use SideQuest to have more apps because the Oculus Quest Store is a little strict when it comes to our new applications. But this actually changes today. So let's discover together the V25 update for the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Quest 2. Let's get into it. All right, so let's get to the most important thing of this update right away, App Lab. What is it? Well, it's pretty much an alternative way to distribute apps directly uh, for the Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2 without using side loading. So without going through uh, all the different process with side quests and stuff like that to have the APK. So this Android's application added to our Oculus Quest 2. Now, the process with SideQuest works pretty easy and straightforward, but well, uh, this should make it even easier because instead of connecting the Quest to the PC, well, right now we can do everything directly from the browser. That means that we can browse all of these different applications that are considered like projects and not ready for the Oculus Store in this case, because probably they don't have a particular deal or probably, well, there's something more experimental about them. And to install them is easy. You just add them to your account and then they're gonna appear directly in your library. They're gonna have a little banner like project on it so you can recognize the one that are not part of the store. And right now for this moment when I didn't receive this update yet, well, if you click on information, nothing happens. Actually, you have uh, no information available on this store. Probably this is gonna get fixed when the update V25 arrives to everyone. Uh, by the way, I made a video on how to manually install the updates on the Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2. As soon as I have a file for it, I'm gonna update it over there. I'm Gonna find it over here so uh, you can go as well on update number 25. But as you notice I said that uh, I already have the game over there even if I didn't receive the update yet because yes App Lab is already available so you can go on the website browse uh, those applications. There's a small list right now, but of course it's gonna grow. Uh, you click on the link and then you just add it to your account. If you can't see the page, just be sure to be logged in in your Oculus account, Facebook account, uh, so you can see it. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the links in the description below so you can check them out and start to enjoy games like Ancient Dungeon Beta, Baby Hands, Crash of Grade, and number two, Deism, Gym Class, Marion Verse Cop, uh, Spark AR, Smash Drum Demo, Zoe, and well, all the others that are gonna arrive in the future. Cool thing is that all of this is also integrated with SideQuest, so you're gonna find the same apps over there, and instead of say loading, well, on a SideQuest, you're just gonna have the link, you click on it, and you go to the page we saw, and you add it to your account, and it's done. Download it also from there. But yeah, that's it there. They actually also added a uh, messenger, like, wow, uh, nobody was asking for, but now uh, you have Facebook's messenger directly in the Oculus Quest 2 and the Oculus Quest, so you can message with people that also don't have VR. If uh, something that you were looking for, uh, well, now you have it. And well, of course, V25 is a new update, so they added some stuff, they uh, fixed some stuff, uh, like we have the Guardian system, uh, the 2.0 for the stationary, so you don't see the grid if you don't want to, where they updated the look and the functionality of the VR profiles and info, they changed the design and some feature of the universal menu. Now you can resize horizontally the windows in the browser, there's something that we couldn't do before. We can add a Bluetooth mouse, go into settings, experimental features, and a Bluetooth pairing. So it's gonna recognize also the mouse if you wanna use the browser, for example. And with the camera roll, you can actually now trim uh, different videos that you made. On the PC counterpart, if you use the Oculus Quest 2, also with the PC for Steam VR or Oculus games, now you can uh, uh, select the 80 and 90 Hertz mode, even with a USB uh, 2.0 cable. So of course that's very interesting because we can use the bandwidth also there. It was enough apparently for 80 and 90 Hertz. So super cool because the 2.0 cables are much less expensive than the 3.2 Gen 1 and stuff like that. So yeah. Good job there. But yeah, that was all guys. I'm gonna leave all the links in the description below. So if you wanna see all the different details, you're gonna find them on the there. As soon as I had the file, I'm gonna upload it directly in the video on how to manually upload uh, the updates to the Oculus Quest 2. So you can, uh, in case, uh, use it. But the cool thing is like App Lab already works even if you are update 23 like me because 24 never arrived and we're already talking about 25. So yeah. Awesome. But are you happy that the apps that were on a side quest are finally arriving directly on the Oculus Quest even without the store, without side loading, uh, all that? Or you think that Oculus is trying to grab everything they can, even from stuff they didn't accept uh, for the 
regular store because yes, they are gonna pay some of those apps. Well, let me know in the comment below, be critical and be real. And uh, well, that was all guys. If you enjoyed the video, like if you didn't, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And if you really love the channel, so join button down there, a little further, also the Patreon, buy your access to videos. And we have a t-shirt sticker, mass 2021 item number one. And uh, that's all. So like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching.